Good morning, Forest Park. Today is August 16th, 2023. I'm Don Jones. I'm the city manager here in the city of Forest Park. Welcome to our show, Off the Cuff, where we try and give some information about some things that have been going on in the city and some things that are upcoming. So let's get started. First thing I want to start with, and I want to remind everyone that this coming Monday, the 21st, school starts at Wenton Woods right here in Forest Park. So it's another school year. Let's be aware. Watch your speeding. Watch out for kids. Uh, be aware of all the school zones. Again, make sure you slow down. We're going to have kids out in the community waiting on buses. They may not be in the right spots. They may be crossing. They may be late. So make sure that you keep an eye out for kids in the neighborhoods. Let's slow down. Leave early. Expect delays. And let's have a great first start of a great new school year here in the city of Forest Park. Also, I want to remind everyone that our construction on Winton and Kemper is ongoing. So that could add some more delay. So again, leave early if you need, if you got to drop kids off at school and um, be aware that there may be some road closures there, at least some lane closures, and there'll be flaggers, and there'll be signage. So uh, we're getting ready to begin the, uh, the milling and the stripping of the pavement on uh, Winton Road, and we're moving over there. So we're hopefully to wrap this thing up here for the end of the year. But again, there'll be some more delays around this general area. So again, leave early. Be aware of the kids out in the neighborhoods. Watch out for buses and uh, be aware of the school, uh, school speed limit zones and uh, just be safe and be aware. Also last week, we had a great jazz in the park, another continuation of our, a great tradition here in the city of Forest Park. And it was uh, uh, probably our biggest one ever. And so I wanna thank all the volunteers and all of our staff who had a hand in it. I also wanna thank Waycross Media who filmed it live and broadcast it live. Now, if you missed the event, you weren't a part of it, we hope everyone had a great time, but if you missed it, uh, you can watch it on Waycross TV. It's running on Spectrum and Phi Optics on their channels, but you can also catch it online at our normal uh, Forest Park channel, wherever all of, our, all of our shows are, including this show. So you can catch the, uh, a replay of the of the event. Jazz in the Park was just another great event this year and we've had a lot of good fun this summer in our parks and we hope to continue it even more next year. Again we're just having a great summer and a lot of great events, a lot of great folks showing up and a lot of good feedback so we hope to continue to have more of them going in the next year. Also last week we issued our first e-newsletter uh, we sent that out to about 2,500 people who had registered, and we have their email addresses, and we hope everyone got it, and we'll be sending it out on a, on a regular basis. There'll be a time, more timely than our uh, newsletter that we send out on, through the mail, so you'll have more timely information and be more relevant. We hope to keep it short and sweet, uh, but if you didn't get that, that e-newsletter from the City of Forest Park, you can go and sign up. And at our website, just go right to our website. There's a link there right on the front page. You can go and sign up for our e-newsletter. And also you can sign up while you're there. You can also sign up for Smart 911. Uh, so go on out, sign up for that Smart 911. Keep your family safe. Put that information out there. Get those alerts when you need them. And uh, sign up for our uh, e-newsletter, which will be coming out on a regular basis, uh, either once a week or twice a week, depending on the amount of content, uh, every other week and then the amount of content that we have. And uh, we hope to make that a regular um, e-newsletter to, to keep everyone informed about what's going on in our city. And uh, so if you want to be informed, you want to be up to date, go out and sign up uh, for our e-newsletter. This is not to be confused with the FPE News, which has been around for a while. That's more of a message board. That's going to continue. That's still available to all of the citizens who are participating with that. This is an additional way to communicate and keep our citizens informed of what's going on in our community. And uh, we hope to be able to, again, to, to continue to send that out on a regular basis. Our Progress e-newsletter, e which is being mailed out, uh, will be mailed out uh, by the end of the month. And uh, so keep an eye out for that. And that has more, uh, more information with, uh, with regards to you know, summer, fall, spring events. Um, also coming up this Saturday, the 19th, we will be participating again in the Black Family Reunion. In particular, we'll be participating in the Black Family Reunion Parade. That's again Saturday at 10 a.m. Uh, our mayor is uh, one of the judges, so we, went, we, we had a great turnout last year. It was a lot of fun, and it's a great organization, and uh, we encourage everyone to 
go downtown and participate in the Black Family Reunion. But to come on out and uh, watch the parade in uh, Avondale. It's on Saturday again at 10 a.m. We'll have more information about the parade route. You go to our website and our uh, Facebook page. It'll be available there. And uh, come on out and uh, watch the parade and support it. Again, that's Saturday, 10 a.m., and uh, we look forward to seeing everyone there. Our city council members will be participating, our police and fire, and we just hope to have a great turnout there for the City of Forest Park, and it's a great organization. Finally, city council, at the last council meeting, uh, they honored the business of the month, which was Frisch's, and we want to thank Frisch's for everything they do for us. They're a great community sponsor, they're a great community supporter, and, the, and with regards to a lot of our recreation activities, they, they sponsor our Breakfast with the Easter Bunny. And we also want to honor them and congratulate them for their 75th anniversary in business. That We have two Frishes here, and uh, we, we, we thank Frishes for continuing to uh, offer their restaurants here in our community. They, they're, again, a great service for us, a great business partner, and a great community supporter. So congratulations, Frishes, on 75 years in business. Also at that meeting, City Council voted to uh, provide additional flock cameras, which will get full coverage for all of our main intersections throughout the community. It's another tool to help solve crimes, not only within our community, but regionally. This gives us access to a regional network, and that we're able to access other communities' cameras, and other communities can access our cameras as well to help solve crimes and to uh, particularly uh, auto-related crimes, stolen vehicles, and other, and other instances. So um, again, this helps keep our community safe, helps solve crimes, and uh, it's a regional system that we're proud to be a part of. Again, this gives us full coverage for all of our main intersections, and we thank City Council for uh, providing this uh, additional degree of safety and the ability and the technology um, and the ability to uh, use to solve crimes in a quicker and uh, more efficient manner. Uh, now the City Council is also in recess. That was the last meeting in August. The next meeting will be in uh, early September, and uh, we look forward to, to having that. So keep an eye out for that agenda. It'll be a full agenda coming up. Be some information about that, but a lot of the stuff will be going on will have to do with uh, changes to our uh, property maintenance codes and, and other issues. So. Keep an eye out for that next meeting, and uh, we hope to see everyone there. Again, it'll be telecast live via Waycross Media. If you, so if you can't show up, uh, you can always catch it live on Waycross Media. Finally, Saturday, August 26th, our city will be hosting uh, at our Central Park uh, the Life Center Organ Donor Network Live Healthy and Move event. We hosted this last year. It's a great event. Again, it's Saturday the 26th at Central Park from 11 to 2. Free food trucks, free fun, lots of activities for the kids and the adults, and a lot of good information about uh, being an organ donor. And we encourage everyone to, who can uh, to uh, sign up and be an organ donor. It saves many lives. There's lots of folks waiting uh, for, for uh, organs, and we hope everyone gets the information they need at this event. But again, just show up, have some fun, get some information, enjoy the food trucks, enjoy the activities. Finally, I want to remind everyone, again, school's starting. Uh, let's make sure that uh, you, know, you watch out for buses, slow down, watch out for school zones, and uh, just be safe and watch out for the kids walking to school. They'll be out in the neighborhoods and uh, expect delays. And bottom line is, let's just be safe and make sure that we, that we have a great start for this upcoming school year. See you next week.